there's little sign of life on the road to Sizhe in eastern Ukraine. On one side, there's the threat of landmines. And at the edge of the village, a broken tank track marks the end of the road. It's only three kilometers from positions held by Russia-backed separatists near Luhansk. During two years of conflict in Ukraine's Donbass region, this village has dwindled to around 10 residents. With no jobs or transportation, the few locals left feel abandoned and useless. They jokingly call their village the appendix. Valentina, an ethnic Russian, says the residents barely scrape by with aid from international organizations. Ukrainian government troops sometimes pass through Cize and swap their meager food supplies with the locals. То ребята были, их кормили все лето виноградом. То раньше хоть какая-то копейка была. Сейчас уже все, кому он нужен, куда его вести. Вот он наш огород, видите как. Я сюда ребят уже не пустила, я боюсь. Вот этот кусочек мы только используем. Там вроде бы уже, как мы в прошлом году садили, в этом году прошли, посмотрели, вроде ничего. А вот эта часть уже все. Туда дальше тоже нельзя. Никуда. The locals joke that their gardens produce more mines than food. They watch Russian television, the only channels available. Every day, what for the news? What for the news? Where they want something to be solved? These presidents are not solving, not solving. God, when are they going to solve this? Already, there is no strength left to wait. Just take them all, take them all, take them all. We want peace. 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 In Cize and dozens of villages on the front lines, this has become normal, waiting helplessly for a resolution to Ukraine's lingering conflict.